So today we're going to be testing out lovable.dev, which is like a very highly rated no code editor, similar to Bolt, Windsurf, all these other no code editor tools. But we're going to be testing out some of the stuff that you can actually do inside lovable. So let's kick it off. We're going to sign up for a free account right here. I don't know if this is completely free, but we can test it out. Give it a whirl. You can connect to GitHub as well, but we'll just kick it off with Google. And here we go. Now, what I can see is you've actually got a list of new templates like you can see right here that you can just go through and create to-do lists that sort of thing as well seems like you can create a mix of tools websites apps etc i'm only showing you some of the cool stuff that we can do with this straight off the bat i think it's going to be pretty simple to go ahead with let's just create a random example right now so i'm going to go with sas landing page and let's see what it comes up with super basic but we can just see how it works test the waters give it a cheeky whirl and then later we'll see how it goes. Now it looks like you've got a chat version. You've also got the history right here. And then the code will pop up here. So we'll see what happens next. It's taking quite a while, I'll be honest with you. What's interesting as well, you see you connect it to Superbase. And you can also connect it to GitHub as well. And now you can see it's creating the index.css and everything else. So interesting and excited to test this out. The other thing that I've noticed recently, I think Bolt are trying to keep up here. It's a competitive world for no-code editors at the minute. But inside Bolt as well, they've also implemented a super base feature. I saw it on here the other day. It's not popping up right now. And you can see you get other things as well, like these new feature previews. We could test how they perform with the same prompts in a minute if you want to see that stuff. Now, we've got the website spun up right here. It does feel very similar to Bolt, right? Same sort of style. The design is slightly nicer, I'd say, like the actual font and everything else. One of the interesting things here is like you can connect it to Superbase and then you can connect it to like third party APIs, store data, etc. I think that would be very interesting to try as well. And then you can also publish projects and share it with people and all that sort of stuff. Now, this didn't cost us a penny to test it out. If we actually click on the open window over here, we can preview it on a test domain. So you can see preview friendly gate dot lovable app. And you can see what the website looks like. It's not bad at all, to be honest with you. Let's give it some more complex prompts in a minute. By the way, all the prompts I'm going to go through today, you can get inside my free course. It comes with two lessons, tools, prompts, tips, over 53 SEO tools, a community of 2,400 SEOs. And along with that, all the video notes from today. So we're going to get straight back into this. And if we hit publish and then deploy, we can just easily launch that. Now, this has not cost me a penny, not a cent so far. It seems to be completely free and we can just publish straight to test domains. Additionally, it seems like you can get subdomain set up as well. So you just create a GitHub repository, grab the URL, take that to Netlify. So it's all similar to Bolt where you just host it on Netlify. Or you can just download the files and then drag and drop as well on Netlify. It's pretty simple and easy to do. I'm going to show you some of the examples of websites that you can build with this in a sec. All right, so you might be wondering, okay, what are the best use cases for this? Number one, I would say ranking new sites of SEO using exact match domain method. That always seems to work pretty well for me so far. Targeting low competition keywords, pretty easy as well. So you can create like a quick blog post, host it on domain, and then funnel traffic to your funnels. Additionally, you can build new tools and embed them to your site. I'll show you some examples of that in a minute. You can build new apps. You can also rank for branded keywords, right? This is useful for you if you have a big brand and you want to rank multiple times for your brand, right? For example, you can see we've got all these keywords around what people are typing into Google around my name, right? So Julian Gold, yes, of course, YouTube channel, YouTube, etc. And so I could create multiple websites using Lovable, launch the exact match domain and rank for those branded keywords. Obviously, if you're trying to rank for branded keywords like a, a company name and it's not yours, be very careful because obviously that's infringing on copyright. And then also reputation management. I'll show you an example of what that means and how you can do it in a sec. So here's a few examples, right? So you can see, for example, Kim in the AICO Success Lab. Feel free to get this link in the comments description to our free course with 2,500 members. But basically, Kim actually launched a new website with Bolt and from the first day started getting like 70 unique visitors per day, right? Pretty wild if you ask me. And that was using exactly the same method, but you can do it inside Lovable. Additionally, you can see this website was built using a similar method with a no-code editor, Enterprise SEO RI Calculator. That got 700 clicks in its first month. And if we type in the keyword on Google, you can see it's still ranking number one. You can also build out, for example, tools. So you can see, for example, this tool right here. So what you can do is you can go into Lovable, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, and create your own tools, local rank and rent websites, Black Friday or sort of seasonal landing pages that you want to create and rank. There's just so much you can do with this. Calculator pages, branded pages, like I was talking about a second ago, which also good for reputation management as well, because if someone is trying to outrank you for your keyword, then you can easily pop up websites like this and just rank for your target keyword multiple times. 
get all the traffic for that branded keyword. And then finally, for example, of course, you've got like these enterprise SEO calculators and different calculators where you funnel the traffic to your funnels. All right, let's kick it off and show you exactly how you can build all of these. But here's an example of a prompt. We're going to create like a, a keyword research tool right here with an API gate. If we go into this tool, just copy and paste it. You can customize it however you want. And that's just start. The thing that you can do with this is like you can build multiple websites at a time, right? For example, when I was building and scaling a lot of these sort of exact match domains out quickly with Bolt, I would just have multiple tabs open, right? So you just duplicate the tab multiple times. And then from there, you can start using your magic. Now, you can see the keyword research tool is just built and implemented right there. I've shown you how to deploy it already. So you just go to publish and then deploy. And then you can just come back to that page and use the tool whenever you want. Of course, you might have to check that it works, go back and forth with it a little bit, but you can actually get like free API keys directly from Google AI Studio and then use those to power your AI tools for keyword research, content creation, content optimization, whatever you can imagine or whatever you pay for and want to replace with the SaaS tools. So for example, we plugged in the API key, selected Gemini, put the SEO niche, worked first time around. We've got a bunch of keywords right here. People are actually searching for them. This is a keyword that's validated. That was incredibly easy. The other thing I would say here is usually if you plug in an API key into Bolt, for example, that's going to take a lot of back and forth to actually get this right. This seemed to work first time around. However, what I would say, and I'm a little bit dubious about this, is whether this AI tool is actually using my API key or not, right? I feel like it's not. It's just spinning up keywords. Let's have a look. We'll just try that again. See, these are relevant keywords and they do match the search intent of my niche. I'm just going to go inside Loveball now and say, Make the tool actually grade the keyword difficulty, come up with search volume estimates and make the UI beautiful. And then we can just go back and forth with this. Now, I am amazed that this works so fast and that was so easy because honestly, I've had situations with Bolt where I've been sat there for an hour, just clicking over and over again until it finally works. I can give it to you away for free on YouTube, but let's keep going and seeing how this performs. I mean, in terms of getting things right first time round, unless Bolt has dramatically improved since I last used it, Loveable is very impressive. I do the, the UI is just slightly nicer. I'd say it's probably 20% nicer, something like that. Let's test it again. I'm going to grab my API key again. We'll plug it in right there. Again, you don't have to pay for this, right? None of this is costing you. The API doesn't cost you anything. The YouTube video doesn't cost you anything. The keyword what? research tool doesn't cost you anything. Lovable doesn't cost you anything so far. I'm sure they would charge you something. And then it doesn't seem to cost you anything to deploy like a tool or so. So yeah, pretty powerful stuff. And that just works straight off the bat. Now, obviously you take all of this with a pinch of salt, but it is giving you some good ideas as I've shown you already. Let's put this in now. So I'm going to put yoga, for example, see what it comes back with. Now you see how, now one of the things to be aware of here, right? I don't want to BS you and tell you this is magic. Is like you see how these keywords are basically the same and they're not unique compared to the SEO search. So it's like best yoga for beginners instead of best SEO for beginners. That's a red flag. And so really what you want to ask this keyword research tool to do now, follow the principles, right? So you go back and forth, test it, use your own common sense when you're testing these out. But when you're using these tools, you want to make sure that it's actually working properly. Just make sure the keyword ideas are unique to the niche. The AI can figure that out for you each time, because otherwise it might be free, but it's false gold. If you ask me, if we just get in spun keywords that don't actually get personalized each time we do a search. And then whilst you're waiting for the changes, you can see it's editing one file and saving the changes right there. Just be aware it might take a little bit of time and then it refreshes once you've done that. Now, if you see any errors like this, just click on try to fix it. But overall, it's pretty easy to set that up, get it sorted, etc. Right. And if you want to go back and forth with it, you can, and you can make more tweaks as you go along. So just to recap so far, I've shown you how to build landing pages with Lovable, and I've also shown you how to do free SEO tools and build your own tools using this process. I think it's going to ask me to upgrade now. Let's give it a whirl. So I'm going to try and build another website next, which is like just building out a basic sort of calculator website. And yeah, you can see it's asking me to upgrade now. So I'm going to upgrade to starter just for you on YouTube watching this so that I can help you. So we signed up, didn't want to do that, but I did it for you at home, just watching to help you. Now let's build out this website. What we can actually do is if you want to test this side by side to see, okay, is there a big difference between what Bolt can do and what Loveball can do? Let's just test them out, right? So I'm going to give exactly the same prompt to Bolt as to Loveable, and we'll see how this performs. So let's give this to Bolt and let's give it to Loveable as well and just see what we get back from both, right? We can also do a speed test and see which one is the fastest at actually replying. So you can see what's going on here. We basically have 
On the right hand side, we have lovable. On the left hand side, we have bold dot. They basically got the prompts at the same time. So it'd be interesting to see which one comes out first. So in terms of speed, actually Bolt won, but totally failed in the generation of the website, right? So if we compare these side by side, you can see that Bolt just gave us an unexpected error, which is quite common to Bolt. It can be quite buggy, as I was saying before. Whereas with Lovable, it might take a bit longer, but if it takes longer and actually works first time round, isn't that worth it? They've both had errors there. Look at that. Let's try and fix them both. So I've asked both of them to troubleshoot and this one is actually working now. Let's see if Bolt actually works as well. I think the, the main learning point there is that whatever you use, these tools are super buggy sometimes. Not all the time, but it can happen. Now I've got the preview from Bolt there. Let's have a look at the preview from Lovable. We'll see which one you prefer side by side. Honestly, I, I can't see a big difference in the design there, right? They basically look exactly the same. They're both about the same word count on the page. They're both responsive and they both look the same, right? I don't think there's any big difference from what I can see between Lovable and Bolt. And they both break as well. These are fantastic tools, but they're very similar. I see them neck and neck from what I can see so far. What I'm also going to do now is try and create an affiliate blog like you can see right here with my Amazon affiliate ID, etc. And we'll see how that performs on Lovable. So we'll create a new project, plug that in. That's probably taken the longest so far, but I guess it is a bit more of a complex prompt. And there we have the blog ready to go. Not bad at all, actually, to be fair. It's probably better than some of my older projects. And we have the content right there. Let's check this Amazon link. Does it actually work? Yeah, it works perfectly, right? We've just created an affiliate blog right there. Ultimate Guide to Bird Photography. It's got a picture of deer. We don't know why, but either way, mate, I'm loving it. And we've got a cheeky link to Amazon with my Amazon affiliate ID right there. Right? Super easy to create that. I don't know why it's gone moose crazy over here on the blog, but the pictures are totally random, but fair play to them. He's built out a page. This page link actually, it doesn't work, but that design is not bad. That was better than I was expecting. Definitely looks more interesting than something I've created with Tailwind using the same sort of method. Yeah, fair play to him. All right. One thing I just want to test now, just for the lols, is actually creating an article. So I'm going to say create an SEO optimized article for this. Heading equals, and then we're just going to create some content inside here and just see what it looks like, whether it can actually create a one page lander with all the content straight off the bat. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what you can come back with lovable. By the way, some of you might be watching, okay, with those tools or anything that you create inside lovable, like how do you actually implement this inside WordPress? If you've got an existing WordPress or a, or a Shopify website, etc. Once you've deployed it, so you just go to publish and then deploy, what you would do then is just say, Give me the iframe code to embed this into my WordPress website. And then what it's going to do is give you some iframe code that you can embed into your WordPress website, surprise. And then you can just embed it into your page like you see right here. So that's basically this tool I made with Bolt. I've got the iframe code, embedded it to the site, and then I can just come back and use it whenever I want. Now, if we look at this page created, it's not bad at all. It's created some nice FAQs, content formatted nicely. Like it's created a blog in the space of literally a couple of minutes. I would expect that content to be around, yeah, probably 500 words if you expand all of these. And the content itself is not bad at all. So you can actually create content directly inside these tools. I'm sure with a bit of back and forth, you can create something really nice. And then again, you've got it all nicely formatted. You could create that as a LinkedIn post. You could put it onto your website, etc. quality control it, but yeah. Pretty nice stuff there as well. So I've shown you loads of different things you can do there, right? So we've talked about all the best use cases. I've given you some examples. Again, you can get all the video notes from today inside my free SEO course. We've talked about some other ideas plus prompts. So for example, building out an affiliate site. I've got loads of copy and paste prompts that you can use for that. Also creating like calculator websites, five page calculator websites. I've also detailed and documented my process for finding websites like the one I showed you earlier. that got 700 clicks in his first couple of months using this process. And I've also shown you a prompt that you can use to generate blog content like you can see right here so that you can actually generate blog content inside the article. It's all nicely formatted. And then that is ready to go for a blog post or a LinkedIn post or whatever. The other thing I wanted to mention is that for all the tools that I've created, so the 50 free SEO tools, I've actually documented the process and the prompts that you can use if you want to steal that process from me, like you can see right here. So top one map makers, content creators, SEO content analyzers, keyword research tools, etc. It's all inside this document. And yeah, it's not bad at all. Honestly, from what I can see, like the main use case of this 
is, is using these templates. And then with those templates, you can create something on top of that. So for example, you can take this template right here, and then you can use the prompts that I've given you today and insert the tools, all the prompts, all the content or anything else inside those templates. And then they're nicely designed and that creates something that's more unique from all the other free no code tools out there. Cause for example, if you create something on Bolt, usually what's going to happen is even if you change the brand colors, it's going to look the same every time. Whereas inside lovable, you've got all these different templates and styles that you can just go straight in with that would make your website look more unique and look less templated than everything else that you get from windsurf or Bolt or anything else. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to get the video notes from today, feel free to get that link in the comments to my free SEO course. This comes with 50 free SEO tools, a community of 2,500 SEOs. You'll get access to my newsletter, all my quality control processes, topical map, link building processes, etc. All of these as well comes with a step-by-step -step SAP and video notes so that you can steal the process from me. For example, this SAP right here and link in the comments and description to that. Now, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to get that link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, to discover the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions you have one-to-one, -one. you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10X your SEO traffic so that you get more leads, traffic, and sales to your website because it's all about making more money with your website. So feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.